Hi, it's Charlie giving you Wednesday's video. I hope you're very well. What's the one thing that successful traders have that unsuccessful traders don't possess? Patience, the ability to sit on your hands. The amount of traders over the years that I've, I've either personally coached or come across via Easy Trader who lack that patience. You see it in the amount of traders all around the world who give up trading. We all know it's an 80 20 rule that 80% of traders, if not more, people who get into trading will quit. A lot of the reason they people quit is because they don't have the tenacity to keep at it. They don't have that ability to see the bigger picture and, and keep going. They give it a go for six months, lose some money and quit. And so it's that patience that comes across, comes and tenacity that comes with it um, that separates those types of traders from um, the traders who become successful so when at a trading level what does that how does that patience look well it could be getting into a trade on a five minute chart and then you know running that trade and, and sitting on your hands sometimes the most profits are made not actually doing stuff again some day traders think that they've got to take you know, 500 trades a day sort of thing um and got to be busy doing lots and lots of trades but it's not the reality um, the reality can be that even on a small time frames, the ability to be able to sit on your hands and ride the trade out to its logical conclusion, um, uh, are what are the th attributes you need to have? But that sitting on your hands, whether it's a five minute chart or whether it's a daily chart or a weekly chart and the ability to be able to sit and wait and be patient for the trades to work their way out is very, very difficult because as humans, we all have this nature where we want instant gratification we want to know that we're going to be right straight away and that's just not true in the markets is it most of the time we're not going to know straight away whether that trade is going to wait uh, going to work out for us we have to be patient and allow it to do its thing so yes we need to be patient on our trades but we also need that other patience like i've already said that patience to wait for it all to come together many of you might be relatively new in your trading careers and you're still in that upwards learning phase and so you've got to have that patience to keep sticking with it and to know that it's not necessarily going to be an overnight thing for you that automatically you should be instantly successful so have that patience and that tenacity to keep going but also coming back to the technical levels the, the patience to wait for the right setups to come along as well. Because there's one thing having patience once you're in a trade, but again, lots of traders lack patience and so therefore start finding trades because they might get bored, whether they're swing trading or day trading, and then start finding trades that they really shouldn't be in. So having that ability, that patience to wait for the right setups to come along is also of imperative uh, value. Let's have a look at this Bitcoin chart here. Bitcoin's been in the markets here, um, in the markets. It's been um, uh, in the news, so to speak, in the financial news a little bit recently because it's having a great run. But if we go back to um, May and June, we can see that it was it had had a nice run up off of its lows and then started chopping sideways. Again, patience. How many traders, even if they were getting involved in this point uh, through here, actually ended up throwing in the towel because they would have got bored because again lots of traders won't stick with a trade because they'll say oh no it's going sideways i'll put my money elsewhere and uh, and then they miss out because then all of a sudden it had another run then it pulled back again didn't it in into august september um and again um all that is is a lovely pullback into a technical level of the prior highs and just another great area i know i'm saying this with hindsight but well enough, I was buying for all of this and, and our swing traders um, all had that privy to that information as well, um, only to then see it gradually finally then start to go. And we all know the rest is history now because it's having this stonkingly good, good run. But you have to be in it when it's there, when it's happening, when it's going sideways, when it's choppy. If you if you can get in, obviously, on these runs, but it's sometimes it's more difficult to get the right risk reward at that point if you're actually trading it. Um, or knowing once it's already running, whether you're paying top dollar or whether you're waiting for a pullback. This thing hasn't done a pullback and lots of traders around the world might have actually been waiting for that pullback. Nothing wrong with that if if you've missed all of this, but, um, but certainly 
um, accumulation phases can be really useful, but um, but it's also having that patience to sit through all of the accumulation phases, then the pullback, and then add some more. Um, I was buying it unleveraged, so I was buying it um, well unleveraged. I wasn't trading it, so which is quite nice. And then just having to to buy on dips and stuff. But anyway, a really interesting chart there in the news because um, this one is getting ever closer to that big twenty thousand level, the levels from two thousand and 17. One last thing I want to uh, mention, uh, show you here. This is our leaderboard on the AI software. If you want to find out some more about the AI software, I'll put a link to it um, in the description box below here today. But um, these members, they've only been on it for up to a couple of months. Some people have been on it a lot less. And this is the leaderboard. It changes um, periodically. We've, um, we've got um, a number of people, you can see the numbers of trades that they've taken, but some fantastic performance so far using the software. The nice thing is they're all using the software slightly differently to one another. So some are doing it on small time frames, some are doing it on hard high time frames, some are doing you know, um, aggressive risk, and others are, are not are doing less aggressive risk. So it's lovely to see some fantastic performance in the space of um, under two months, I think it is. So um, really, really good to see there on that. So if you're interested in the AI, which is one of the best things I've seen, um, it's taken my DST strategy and um, and put it into an automated process to give you uh, trade signals and a, an entire backtesting engine as well, then by all means do check that out. Um, I'll put the link in the box below today's video. Right, that's about it from me. I'm recording this on a laptop. I don't know how this is gonna come out today. My computer went down on me this week. And so it's off to the menders. So I'm running this all off a laptop with not the usual equipment that I would use. So fingers crossed this all uploads. Okay, take care for now. Hopefully I'll be back in touch at the end of the week.